with summer rapidly approaching, a lot of people are going to be doing some summer traveling. And oftentimes that means you're breaking out the RV. Traveling across the country in an RV is something that you must take safety as a priority. Now in an RV, the troubles that you have safety wise is you're uh, in different parts of the country. You're usually around strangers who are also traveling about and uh, different states have different laws but the RV itself is logistically a, a hard thing to consider when you're thinking of a handgun or a gun in general because the walls are thin, it's a small space, um, if you're in a campsite with other campers there could be hundreds of people around and they have either RVs with thin walls or tents with material walls uh, so considering a gun in an RV is something that you can't take lightly you don't just grab any old gun and bring it along in your RV. There's definitely some good ones to bring. So what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at the top five best RV guns. Number one, a snub nose 357 Magnum revolver. For me, it's the EAA Vindicator. This is a priority. Regardless of the other guns that are on this list, this one is very necessary for RV owners. Well, why? Well, typically when you're camping, you're out in the wilderness. If you're in the mountains, throughout the Rocky Mountains, uh, really any mountainous area in the United States, Canada, or Alaska, there's a high likelihood that you could run across some um, four-legged predators. And having a 357 Magnum is really about the best bet you're going to have. Now, I also recommend a snub nose because when you're in an RV, you're traveling about, you're going into gas stations, you're wandering around campsites, you're wandering through trails, that kind of thing. I recommend a snub nose so you can conceal carry. This would be the concealed carry gun I recommend as an RV traveler that you have. Because the 357 Magnum will protect you against really any four-legged or two-legged predator out there. Number two, a Mossberg Shockwave. Now, shotguns, in my opinion, a great gun for an RV. And the shockwave is exactly perfect. It's small. It allows you to maneuver around a small space. However, um, I recommend that you use birdshot with these. It'll certainly go through at least one or two walls of your RV, but it's not going to get a lot further than that. And it definitely will be effective against any predators that might be coming inside your RV. Oftentimes, that is the case. Uh, oftentimes, intruders might come in, or a bear might find his way in, or who knows, even some sort of uh, like a raccoon or something might find their way in. Having a shotgun with some birdshot is a great option if you feel that your life is being threatened because it's not going to just keep going through wall after wall after wall. Uh, Mossberg Shockwave, in my opinion, is the, really about the best gun you're going to have other than the one I just mentioned, which is your concealed carry weapon. Number three. A kel PMR-30 and 22 Magnum. Now, this I recommend for varmints specifically. Almost every time I go camping, some sort of varmint starts messing with our campsite. Uh, whether it be a raccoon or, or worse, uh, 22 Magnum is a great varmint round. Um, and you're going to probably have a higher likelihood of running across varmint that are causing problems for you then you are going to come across predators that are threatening your life. So I highly recommend a PMR 30 in 22 Magnum. Number four, a Taurus Judge. Now this is a great option um, in a replace of the Mossberg Shockwave or the kel PMR 30. A Taurus Judge would be a great option with a 410 shotgun shell. Uh, you take care of snakes, raccoons, any sort of armament or a 45 long colt will definitely take care of anything as far as two-legged predators go. I've always said the Taurus Judge would make an awesome car defense gun, but it definitely makes an amazing RV defense gun. And finally, number five. This particular gun I'm only going to recommend for a worst case scenario where you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're under a heavy assault of whatever it may be, whether it be predators, um, I definitely don't recommend this gun if you're going to be going to campsites. I recommend the following gun if you're going to be going out in the middle of nowhere by yourself, and that's an AR pistol. An AR pistol I recommend because, again, you can maneuver around a RV, and this is a worst-case scenario gun, or if you're in the middle of nowhere and you find yourself in a really tough survival situation, 
An AR pistol is always one of the best survival guns out there. Now, I definitely don't recommend you use this gun inside an RV. Again, it's really kind of a worst case scenario. An AR pistol is an awesome option. Now, with all of this list being said, I also want to add that state to state, be cautious as you're traveling through a state. There's no way I'd be camping in California with an AR pistol um, or in New York or Illinois. So be cautious of uh, as you travel from state to state. Also be aware that if you have issues personally from traveling from state to state with a gun, just, just be cautious. Uh, know your laws, know where you're going. Um, 10 years in the prison is going to be a lot worse than a bad camping day. So. Uh, always know where you're going and what the laws are as you travel about the country. But there you go. There's my top five list of the best RV defense guns out there. Love to hear what your RV defense guns are. Put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link is below. We're now on Instagram, so that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.